where the mining jobs are. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and today I'm going to do an updated video on where the mining jobs are for new starters. But first before I do that I just want to let everybody know that you can use ZipPay now to pay for the sponsors training. I've had a number of people approach me over the last year or so about how they, they could pay the course off so you can use Zip to pay off the course now if that's something that you want to do. Now, with this area of the industry, we're going to look at three key words. We're going to look at underground, exploration, and drill it off And we're going to load them into Seek. So if we put underground in to start with, you'll see all the jobs come up. And there's a lot of entry-level jobs. You'll see Monterra are looking, Pit and Portal, Barminko. They're all looking for people. And a lot of it's in WA, and we can have a look at our map of gold mines to have a look at where the different mines are. So there's a lot around Kalgoorlie that are looking for people, but also there's a lot in northern Queensland and in the centre of um, New South Wales as well. And South Australia has got a number of large gold and copper mines. So you can have a look. That's the map for, a gold, for the gold mines. This is the map for the copper mines. And you'll see they're pretty close as gold runs with copper a lot. You can see where a lot of the mines are and for people that are in Victoria at the moment it looks like the border is going to come down with New South Wales at the end of this month and so that will give you opportunities to um, target these areas in central New South Wales. I'm not sure that you're going to be able to get into WA anytime soon but if you're in the Northern Territory, South Australia or Tasmania, now if you really want a job now's the time to get yourself to Kalgoorlie because there's so much going on in that area and you just have to go back to the ad to have a look everybody's looking for people they're all having to hire new starters for their entry-level jobs which are now nipper truck offsider so any of those jobs they're all looking for they're having to put on entry-level people so there's lots about in hard rock underground and these are all if on a two-in-one job you're starting on around the hundred thousand dollar a year mark and like most people think what's the catch well there is a catch but i'll get to that in a little while we'll just have a look at the exploration jobs and these are the fieldy jobs and the fieldy jobs as you can see it's 450 to 500 a day which is that hundred thousand dollar mark as well and then you've got your driller off of jobs and there's lots of them about and again, with the driller off cider, 30 to $37 an hour. If you're working 12-hour days on two and one, that's well and truly over $100,000 a year. Now, what's the catch with these entry-level roles? Well, unfortunately, a lot of these entry-level roles, they use, well, they've got no choice but to use sink or swim training. And what do I mean by sink or swim training? Well, you get the job first and then you go to site and they train you. That's basically, you know, what sink or swim training is because when you get out there, you get trained and you either do it or you don't. And in Hard Rock Underground and Exploration, or the drillers off site are on the surface especially, they have a huge turnover of new starters that just have got no idea what the expectation's going to be and they can't get themselves up to speed quick enough and they quit. And that's why there's so many jobs constantly coming up in both underground and drillers off siders on the surface. They just go through so many people. Now, one of the ways around that is to learn how the mine works before you get there. That's where the sponsor's training can come in if you're looking to get into the hard rock underground mining industry. DIY teaches you everything that the employer wants you to know. And we'll just go into the course quickly just to have a look and ex show you what I mean. So if we expand into hard rock underground mining um, operation and then we have a look at ground support. And I like this one because it shows people a specific bit of information that they've got to know about the Hard Rock Underground. And that's ground support. So it goes through the different types of bolts, how it's all installed, why we use it, shotcrete. There's videos on how it's all put in. Talks about cable bolts as well as chemical bolts, grouting, all that sort of stuff. Now... The employers know that you've got no practical experience once you've done this training, but they're not really interested in that. They're interested in people that have retained the information from the course so that can answer the mining questions within the, in the um, interview. If Once you can do that, that's what gives you the advantage over everybody else. And all this information in here is all about how the actual mine works. That allows you to apply for all these jobs and it puts you in a good position to not only get the job, but to 
survive that first six months because unfortunately with the single swim training they do turn over a lot of new starters now the other thing that's been happening in the industry is the iron ore price has taken a tumble and what has that done it means that it's forced a number of the more costly mines to rethink their production and they've started laying people off from those iron ore mines so this is just an example of one mine that's shut that's um, laid off 200 people now those people won't have a problem going and getting a job on the surface in this climate but what does that mean for people that are trying to get an entry level on the surface at the moment it means that there's 200 more people just come out looking for jobs that the employers can snap up straight away and if you can get somebody with previous experience over having to train they'll do it any day of the week this is one of the reasons why you need to understand that um, iron ore and coal especially in Queensland on all the strip mines they really do have a limited um, time frame of people um, driving those trucks most of those mines are earmarked unfortunately for the driverless system and you can have a look more on the sponsors training page about that um, it talks about who's what can be automated and what can't one of the big areas of the industry that can be automated is the uh, strip mines in the iron ore industry and the strip mines in the coal industry and management have made no bones about the fact that they're going to do that and that's one of the reasons why that i encourage people to have a look at underground or drillers off cider on the surface and drilling on the surface obviously if you're going down that career path because it's not jobs that they can easily automate now if you like i said if you want to have a crack at underground then the best thing to do is to have a look at the sponsors um, training now if you want more information about it there's this best shot series these are just five minute videos that answer most questions that people have like number five here is how tickets work on a hard rock underground mine that's one of the things that i find most people get confused about Unfortunately, um, if you've spent a lot of money doing a three-day truck driving course to get you an R2 ticket, that's not going to help you get a hard rock underground job. Neither is it going to help you get a job in a pit, um, a hard rock pit, because all the employers have to issue their own on-site ticketing as per their standard in their state. And that's one of the big things that the, um, this series tries to set straight. A lot of things that people don't understand and explain why certain things happen the way they happen in hard rock underground. Around. I hope you found that information helpful on where the new mining or where the mining jobs are now. And it, like I said, if you want to have a crack at Hard Rock Underground, then the Intro to Underground Mining, the DIY course, is the way to go. If you want some help with it, then we do a work ready package where you can um, get a shift boss to help you. It's slightly more expensive. They redo your resume for you and um, prep you and make sure that you're the full bottle. I hope you found that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions that you'd like me to answer, please. Send them through and if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel that would be great thanks